Yeah, hello again everybody, and welcome back to Fugit Blitz with me, Fugit. Hello. Now, I've been playing this game for quite some time, and I'm still pretty naff at it. And that's the thing. You're not always going to get big damage. You're not always going to get that light blue win rate. Regardless of what you do and how many times you do it, sometimes you're just going to be an average player. And that's the thing. And there's nothing wrong with being an average player. In fact, why is there a problem with being an average player? I don't think there is. Yeah, okay, everybody wants to be a super duper unicorn, but real life doesn't work that way. We can't all be super duper unicorns. And if we were all super duper unicorns, the game would be pretty boring, to be honest with you. You need variation. You need diversity in the game. And I know I keep saying this video after video, and it's like a broken record. It is, after all, just a game. And the thing is, if you want to get better at this game, and if you want to improve, then you need to start thinking about the tanks you're playing. Now, this is me in a Leo 1. I'm not a great Leo 1 player for numerous reasons. You know, I mean, the tank is notoriously difficult. In fact, I'll give you a little story. The sole reason I actually started to do YouTube was because I was watching videos of other YouTubers for this game showing me replays of awesome gameplay in the Leo 1. You know, amazingly fantastic gameplay. And I am never going to be able to play the Leo 1 like those people. So I do struggle in the Leo 1. It's, it's not a tank I get on with for various reasons. But the thing is, I try my best to improve. And at the same time, I try to have a little fun in doing so. And as you can see here, I'm constantly on the move. I've lost hit points, but I've put in over 2,000 damage, which, to be fair, isn't a lot for a Leo 1. Unless, of course, you're a super duper unicum. You know, you should be looking at between 5 to 6k in this thing. Thing is, I'm doing the role that it's designed to do. It's mobile. I'm going to take a shot here from the T92 because I can afford to take a shot from the T92. He's got a long load time. I'm going to put two into him and then I'm going to ignore him and I'm going to hit the 183 and take him out of the game. Now I'm just going to toy with the T92. And this is what you should be looking at, guys. You should be looking at slowly, slowly improving over the course of time. Don't worry if you're not getting those big damage numbers immediately. Don't worry if your win rate doesn't seem to be shooting up immediately. These things will come over time. And I was pretty happy with that game. Now I, I know other YouTubers are going to slate it. I mean, it's low damage. It's, it's nothing. But you know what? For a person who doesn't get on with the Leo one, I'm happy with that game. And that's the thing. Try to find what you are going to be happy with. This is another tank that I notoriously don't like, the E4. And I, I don't particularly like this tank. I, I think it's pretty trash. And I very rarely, if seldom, play it. I prefer some of the other TDs in the game at tier 10. I certainly don't like the E4. But I was doing the stream and I decided I'll give it a bash. Now, the thing about these games, okay, is that, okay, we have a pretty clueless enemy, but they're not that clueless. I mean, there's a, there's a guy over there in an FV4005 from CHRD, a very good top tier clan. So, you know, it's not like this, that the enemy is filled with Muppets, because they're not. And yet I hear all the time people complaining about the gameplay. Even I complain about the gameplay. You're going to get doubt crappy teams just as much as you're going to get doubt decent teams. That is the nature of the game. But the thing is, and the thing you need to remember is try to improve. You're not going to win every game, okay? It just doesn't work that way. There's no reason to be toxic. There's no reason to shout at your teammates unless, of course, they're trolls. And even then, don't shout at them. There's no point. Play your game. Get a goal in your mind. 
okay? Set whatever that goal is. Improve your win rate. Improve your WN8. Improve your damage. It doesn't matter what that goal is. And work on that goal. And work on it in a tank that you are comfortable in. Don't go out there and take a notoriously difficult tank like, say, the FV405, like the FV4202. That's a tricky tank. Take a tank that is going to give you at least some comfort zone. Take that tank and just roll out and try to achieve your goal. And trust me, you'll be much happier for it. As for the toxicity, wow. Somebody wrote to me the other day saying, you know, he was getting shouted at a lot in the chat and what can he do about it? And the only advice I've got for these people is you've got to try and ignore it, guys. And the reason people generally are toxic is because it's one of three reasons. Either they're just a dick in real life, and you can't do anything about that. You're not going to be able to change them. I mean, if they're a dick in the game, chances are they're a dick in real life. Simple fact. Secondly, it's because they're trying to lash out at people they feel are lesser than they are. Like, I get one in this game here. I get called a bot by a, a guy in the Object 140. Despite the fact that I did better damage than him and, you know, I was a better player than him. But he still had the, uh, you know, he still wanted to call me a bot. Mainly because he wanted to uh, blame somebody for his own errors and inadequacies. Uh, you can't see it, but basically he, he rushed off and got himself blasted away. You know, that happens. I mean, that was his own fault, nobody else's. But you've got to try and ignore these. And the third one is people are trying to be funny or they think they're trying to be funny. I mean, I've got an 11-year-old kid. Believe me, what he finds funny is, you know, I don't understand, to be honest with you. I don't understand some of the things he finds funny. Yeah, he can laugh at this stuff for hours and he thinks it's the best thing in the world. You know, and that's the thing. Again, we're all different. And I, I try to explain to him that just because he finds something funny doesn't mean the rest of us are going to find it funny. And that's just the nature of the beast. So that's why toxicity exists. But what realistically can you do about it? Well, you've got to try your best to ignore these fools. Okay, let the baby have its bottle, basically. If somebody wants to be toxic, let them be toxic. It, it's pixelated words. It's nothing more than that. I mean, there's the aid old, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. And that's, that's, that's this. Names are not going to hurt you, you know. So take it with a pinch of salt. Don't worry about it. Because what are they going to do to you, realistically? Okay. It, it may upset you. It may piss you off. But other than that, it ain't going to do anything to change your life. It's uh, going to have no impact on you. So you've got to try and rise above it. Don't bring yourself down into the gutter where they are, basically. It, there's no point. And the thing is, toxicity exists in every game, not just in Blitz. And, you know, you're going to get Muppets out there. You just are. You've got to do your best to ignore them. And if they really overstep the line, then don't be intimidated or bullied by them. Just report the buggers. Okay, then you're not going to get... Uh, or understand what action wargaming may or may not take, but what does it matter? You've reported them, and that's all that matters. And if they get chat banned or anything else, then fair enough. They've been chat banned or anything else. What does it matter to you? Get on with your life. Don't worry about these idiots, because life is too short, and it's just a game. Anyway, I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to put a video out there, basically, and I think I did. So, Remember guys, it's coming up to Christmas, try to chill out, try to have some fun, try to remember it's just a game, and set those little goals for yourself. So until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because really guys, that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.